So let's start unboxing my new TV box H96 Max that I got from Banggood. It's got a very nice round shape, makes it uh, different from the other square TV boxes. Uh, looks shiny and very beautiful. It also has all the inputs and outputs on the side. Uh, there are many circuits, uh, USB, UTP, USB 3, SD card slot and uh, everything you can find in any TV box. Let's see what else is inside the box. Uh, the power adapter of course with the standard plug-in. Uh, it has its own uh, HDMI cable to connect it to the TV screen. A very nice user manual in English that shows you how to connect it to the TV and how to make some basic functions. There's also a small uh, remote control inside uh, that can be used also as a virtual mouse not air mouse you just use the arrows and it takes uh, two standard 3, 3A batteries let's start the initial setup First of all, you choose the language, you adjust uh, the TV screen and uh, select uh, a wireless network if you wish. So there it is, the start screen, very fast setup. Uh, you can also go to the settings, there are many things you can adjust with the uh, Android 13 environment. Uh, let's go to YouTube to see how fast it can play. It takes some time to load. And uh, there it is, the, the start screen of YouTube. I'm not connected as a user yet. It was easy to set it up. And uh, you can see it's very fast can scroll uh, around the videos and start the video. <coughs> I haven't tested it in 4K because my TV screen is not 4K but uh, in Full HD it plays without any trouble. I had a problem with the sound. There wasn't any sound, just a humming coming uh, from the speakers of the TV. I try many adjustments through the menus and the sound menu, but I couldn't find any solution. It seems that uh, the solution was to change the HDMI cable with uh, the one that came with the box. For some reason, didn't like the other old HDMI cable ahead. Uh, there is a Play Store installed and uh, you can uh, download any application when you're connected with your uh, account. Uh, here's how you can use the remote control as a mouse. It's uh, very slow, I wouldn't recommend it, just for uh, case of emergency. Uh, I use an air mouse, uh, it can uh, function very good in this box too. Here are all the applications that are installed and uh, you can see if uh, there is an update available or not or if the box is up to date. 
Netflix uh, seems to work fine also uh, and very fast loading I didn't test any moves of course here's the original remote control and here's the air mouse I use you just connect the doggle to the TV box and it's ready to go here's the, the mouse cursor uh, but uh, I don't know why the power, bu the power button doesn't work you can't shut down uh, the box from the air mouse uh, I also tried some other uh, applications uh, like the Earthflix from the Greek users uh, it seemed to work at some times uh, it was loading uh, the the content but uh, it was very slow and also at some time it stopped working uh, I tried to reload it but uh, it didn't uh, start as you can see here it kept uh, going me back to the start screen uh, I don't know if there's a problem with the, the original app or the, the box and the Android 13. Here you can see all the functions, all the settings that you can do. Uh, and it's a new Android, of course. Maybe there are, more, there are some problems. Uh, we will find out uh, as we use it. Overall, it seems like a very good uh, machine, very fast, straightforward menu, uh, no trouble with the setting, with the setup, and uh, looks very good uh, as an external appearance. Uh, we'll try it on and see how it goes. Thank you, my friends.